So most people, when they think of Xeriscape, a lot of people think it's very boring. And I think when you look at the photos of this project, you're going to see that you can make it much more interesting, much more beautiful, without lawn, without high water used plant material, and accomplish a lot more with uh, different structures of plants and, and using boulders and, uh, and cutting in washes and using your hardscape to create lots of interest. It's a lot more user friendly space. We have things blooming throughout the year on this project. It's just a lot more interest than had along. There's tons of different plants that you can use for this area. Uh, you gotta get a little bit creative. You, know, you want some of your grasses mixed with some of your low growing perennials, uh, and then you can get into your medium sized shrubs. So some of the trees we did, we did quite a few evergreens. Uh, so some white firs, did some uh, Arizona cypress, and then we got into some of the, the natives with your Jeffrey pines and incense cedars. Uh, then we brought in a bunch of deciduous trees, a lot of fruit trees, uh, peach, almond, and then we got into just your, your larger trees, sycamores and uh, crab apples, catalpas. 15 years, it's gonna look beautiful. Uh, they'll have a lot of wildlife coming in here because the trees will be a lot more mature. They'll obviously have a lot more shade um, just due to the height of the trees. And then the birds can come in. It'll be a lot more private um, and just more tranquil and peaceful having those large trees in here. <laughs>